Ugh. Hey. So, time for my state of my galaxy, November 2021. First up, characters. So, there have been a ton of relic things that have happened this month. Very busy with relics. Um, for starters, we got Vader up to relic 7 now. Um, it puts him at 35,556 power. Can't say he's too much different. Ever, last I had him was, a, was at Relic 5, and when I use him now, he feels about the same, even though he's two Relics better. Um, I have Stark and Veers both at, well, Relic 1, just because it's easy to hit him there, because I've been working on other characters, such as Royal Guard, who was at Royal, uh, Royal, yeah, at Relic 3. Um, he's getting pretty close to being Relic 4, and then I'll call it a day at that point. Relic 3 is all he needs to be to for the um, C event anyways, so... Technically, I'm done with him, but I'll just get him to Relic 4, because why not? As far as his mods go, he has that one that's green. That's because I had that one sitting around and decided to put it on him instead of just having it in my inventory. And those other two, um, I'm getting them there. Let's see what we got. Yeah, 23 out of 50, and the other one's ready to go. So pretty close, and he'll be almost done, so that's cool. Um, Sidious and Duker are the same exact status as they were last month. Bosk. Now, if you see Bosk sitting up here, that's because I've decided I'm going to start working on him to Relic status. I think what happened was I might have put this piece of gear on him up here. And then I noticed he only needed two things, which seemed relatively easy to do, which I ended up just doing this one the other day. Wow, it looks like it's already half ready again, too. <laughs> but, yeah, and then it just has this one. Granted, I don't really have anything zero zero and then half so i'm what a quarter of the way there but i figured i don't want to waste time working on characters that aren't towards a galactic legend or something but i decided i'd work on bosk because well there's a few reasons that make him worth it one well like i said he's kind of close anyways but two I have been wanting to work on my bounty hunters more. It just sucks when you're stuck working on requirements for C or for Beskar Armor Mando or Jedi Knight Luke and all this nonsense. So I figured I'll sneak him in as like a, a fun character to relic up instead of something I need to relic up. So that's one, or actually that's two. Three is, I was looking at it, his mods I've already worked on over time anyways. Before I started like really hardcore going in on the relic characters... He's somebody that already has his mods up to 6 dot anyway, so he's, like, perfect to be relicking. And, um, 4 is he has a ship. And he's got, like, a good ship that everybody uses because he's a pretty sturdy tank. So I figure it's not gonna hurt the ship for me to get Bosk relicked up. It's only gonna make my ship better, which might make my arena status better. So, yeah, working on Bosk. Um, hopefully next month he will be at relic status. That'd be cool. Um, let's see. As far as these top guys, Rebel Officer Leia. She actually got a lot of stuff today. She, or recently, not today, maybe the other day. She got that and this. It was almost like back to back. Actually, I think it was in the same day. I was saving this one because I didn't know if Bosk needed it. And then when I laid down Bosk's gear, which was in this corner, um, I noticed that was still sitting there. And then I had this too because of the new gear changes, how you can get this out of dailies as well as this. 27, 29 while they're close. So then I was like, huh, well, I guess I'm going to start working on her. So that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, this was this was only at like 25. Somehow I got it up to 63 now. And then I just need this crap. And then I can lay this down on her and boom, she'll be, well, temporarily out of here because she'll be gear 12. So I'll unfavor her. I say temporarily because I think for Jedi Knight Luke, you need her to be like Relic 5 or some nonsense. But I'm not working on Jedi Knight Luke. I'm working on C. So for now, she'll be able to be unfavorited. I'll have to deal with her again in the future. But until then, she'll be off my list. Um, no progress on Kira. No progress on Mon Mothma still. <laughs> no progress on Quill. I almost thought there was going to be progress on Quill. Because when I got this, both of these were lit up. And I was like, ooh. But then I was like, wait, are they the same thing? And I checked and they were. So I was like, well, I guess you're just sitting here still Quill. Uh, something kind of fun, or cool, whatever the word is I'm looking for, because it's relatively challenging to do, is I got, well, not I, we, the guild, we got, were able to earn enough shards so I could get Wat Tambor up to 5 star now. I know it's not really ideal, I can't get him to relic status or anything still, 
So, <laughs> got a ways to go before he's mega powerful, but it's still cool to be able to star him up. He's not really somebody that I can control, so that was cool that our guild did that. And it's funny, too, because it's 0 out of 85. Like, I had perfectly just enough 65 shards to get him to 5 star. Um, let's scroll through here. I talked about Vader already. Um, oh, Sith Marauder. I don't know. I don't remember if I got him to Relic 7. I think I got him to Relic 7 like last minute last month. So this might already be old news. But what I have been doing is throughout the Galactic Challenges when we get the, 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 the pieces, I guess you could call it, to bring a mod up to 6, six dot and beyond, I have been uh, putting the beyond stuff on Marauder. So as you see, he's got four blues and two green ones. Um, one thing I'll say about Marauder is, man, I, I know Relic 7 is a requirement for C, so it wasn't really my choice to bring him to Relic 7, but he is super good now, like, he's definitely a, he's worth it, he's not like one of these characters like Rose Teagle that they make you Relic up for a Galactic Legend and then they suck, Sith Marauder's wicked good. I mean, there's times where, like, he goes and he'll one-shot a character that was at full health and full protection. And I'm like, what the heck just happened there? He's super awesome. Definitely no regrets with Relic 7. This. Like, Vader, I kind of have regrets with. Granted, I have no choice. He's a, That's a requirement for C. But I feel like Vader kind of sucks. But Sith Marauder is awesome. Anyhow, moving on, uh, Maul. I don't know what my status was last month with Maul either. Uh, got him to Relic 4, that's really all I needed for now, and I got I got his mods up. So if I got him to Relic status last month, I probably didn't have his mods up, which now I do. They're all 6 dot. Maul actually seems a little better too when he's Relic. Like, unfortunately, this Maul really sucks. He should be pretty good, but he's just not. But ever since I got mine to Relic status, he does seem a little bit better, which is nice. Still not as on point as he should be. Granted, we have the new Maul, but like Darth Maul should be good, not the new Maul. <sighs> um, hmm, I guess that's it for like Relic type characters. Grief Karga. I just literally got him beefed up today. Just today. He was gear 11. Just got him to gear 12. <laughs> made it just in time to you know, be included in the state of the state of the galaxy for this month state of my galaxy um grand moff he's gotten two more pieces laid down on him i know one of them was this one i think the other one was this one it was either that one or this one i don't know yeah actually it was this one so um yeah he's needed for c as well so i mean in the eventually i am gonna have to favorite him and focus on working on him but I figure for now I'm just going to keep the pressure off myself a little bit and just leave him down here. And if, if stuff shows up, like say someday I somehow have this and uh, it's available. Oh, hey, Tarkin, here you go. Or this one. Oh, hey, Tarkin, here you go. But until then, um, he's just going to stay living down here in the meantime. Until I'm ready to favorite him. Uh... Roughly speaking, that might be it in terms of these characters. Uh, yeah, nothing happened with you. Nothing happened with you. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nope. Nerp. 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 Okay, uh, this one, IG-86. I don't know if I mentioned this last month. I don't remember. But he's recently made it to gear 12. Like I said, I don't know if that was sometime last month or this month. But regardless, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool too because I'm finally catching up on my on uh, these characters to be gear 12 that I've worked on. I got five down here. Plus Ray, that's six. And then these ones that are favorited, obviously, are going to get worked on. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 11. 11 characters. And then everybody I've ever worked on will be at least gear 12. That's pretty cool. I know gear 12 isn't really too special in the grand scheme of things anymore. So it might seem stupid that I stop at gear 12. But I don't know. I always use gear 12 as like a milestone because at one point it was. I mean, it was, what, a year and a half, two years ago? Gear 12 was the top gear option 
they just and then i mean that yeah now we got around like nine and all that nonsense but i don't know i remember when gear 12 was the top thing and it was cool and i was trying to get all my characters in gear 12 when gear 12 was the top thing so i that's i kind of just maintain that mindset I mean, I feel like at the end of the day, anyways, if you see somebody with a bunch of gear 12s, it, it looks decent. Like, I think about, like, Grand Arena. If you go and spy on your opponent and they have, like, tons of crap characters that they've worked on. You know, they got a bunch of, like, level 50s and they're only, like, gear 6. And they're like, why did you even do this? That's stupid. Like, I don't want anybody to look at my roster and think that. I want them to look at my roster and see everybody I've worked on is at least gear 12. Then it looks like I'm a little more serious. Like, I didn't just start working on a character because it seemed fun and then give up halfway just to inflate my GP or some nonsense. But, yeah. So these guys, eventually... I don't care about them enough. That's why they're just sitting here. But someday, they'll, they'll get beefed up. And then I can start working on other characters for fun. I have other characters that I want to work on, but I just never do it because, I don't know, I don't want to add to, like, the this. I don't want to add to... Needing to, I mean, having more characters that I feel like I need to work on. I want to get all these done and then work on somebody new. Anyway, did anything happen in here? Actually, there obviously was stuff that happened. I just need to find it. Um, hmm. Ooh, one thing that's pretty cool is Piet's getting pretty close. 91 out of, 100, out of 100. He's almost there, which is good because I need him for C, so, I mean, he's got a long ways to go, he's only level 1 and all that, so it's gonna be a lot of work, but at least if he's 7-star, that's a help, um, Bo-Katan, I've been working on her, she just literally made it to 5-star uh, right before I started recording this, so that was kind of cool, she was 64 out of 65, <laughs> now she's 2 out of 85, Death Trooper, I'm not actively working, working on, but, I should try to figure out where he is and farm him only because he's at 84 or 85. He's wicked close to being 6 star, so I might as well just get him there. Never noticed his gun before. It's kind of cool. <sighs> Gas. Gas is still a pain in the dick. I unlocked him, what, one, two months ago? And I only got him to 70 out of 85. I got him up to 70. I got a 15 pack, so he was, what, 55 before? Now he's 70, but still, such a long ways to go. Like, my plan is once he's 7-star, then I'll work on him. Because I feel like for now it's pointless. What's, what's the point of me working on him? I can't... I don't. What can I do? Can I get him to gear 12, or does the game not even allow that? I don't know. Their rules have been pretty stupid. So, I just figured the best bet is 7-star. Then you know there's no restrictions. <laughs> but it's so long to get him there. Wrecker, I've been unofficially working on him. I'm actually trying to work on the ship that's on his um, on his node, but because he's there as well, I'm getting his shards. So 51 out of 85. Um, Moff Gideon, I have been working on him. I feel like it's taking forever. All the all the other areas that I go to with character shards, they'll give me drops, but like a lot of times I get nothing from Moff. It's annoying. I'll get two, 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 one, three, two, moth, zero. Like, seriously. But 60 out of 65. He's pretty close to five stars. Just taking forever to get there. Um, I am actively working on Dark Trooper. Nothing too special going on here. He's only at 23 out of 65. But, you know, is it just me or do these character models look like absolute crap? They look like low res and stuff. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. Um, I have been casually working on armor. It's not really a main goal right now. It's more or less like if I have extra energy, then I'll use it to work on armor. Who won't spin for some reason. There we go. But yeah, so 23 out of 30. Getting close to four stars. Not something I really care about, but it is something casually being worked on. So I'll just mention it. All right, then there was also the introduction this month. Actually, I can't even say this month. At this point, it was a matter of, what, two, three days ago that they mentioned Boba Fett, Thion of Django. So he's in the game. He'll be part of um, Conquest. Conquest Rewards. And I think that's about it for characters. Now time to go on to the ships. 
so there has been some awesome huge ship uh, news, but I'm gonna start with like the I'm just gonna start in order of how these ships are. So we're not gonna see the cool stuff until later. So obviously the tie advanced by one x one times one whatever you want to call it got a little bit of a boost because I got uh, Vader to relic seven. I don't know what it was before, but it, now the power is eighty seven thousand three hundred and ten. Likewise, Emperor Shuttle got a boost because of um, Royal Guard A becoming Relic 3 and B having his mods beefed up a little. <laughs> um, I don't think anything else really happened. Oh, Skimtar obviously would have got a little bit of a boost too because of Maul. I don't know what it was before though. Um, hmm. I feel like something happened with Ray's Millennium Falcon, but I'm not sure. I get confused because I am playing two games, so I don't know if something happened in the second game or if it was this game. Hmm. Don't think there's much else to report on just like the average ships. I am actively working on both those two, the Rebel Y-Wing and the BTLB Y-Wing. I don't, I think the BTL B Y Wing is the one that's on Wrecker's nodes. And as far as the Rebel Y Wing, y -wing <laughs> I think that's in the ship battles, which right now I've been actively trying to farm uh, gear for my characters like Bosk and such to make it up to gear 13. So the Rebel Y Wing's kind of been on hold for now, but whenever I'm caught up, I'll be back to farming that. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, that's actually two things. I totally forgot. So two bits of awesome news. One, I got the finalizer of the seven star finally. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, that was, I think, early this month. Well, October. Finally got it to seven star. Ironically, the name's finalizer, final, and now finally got it to seven star. And the other thing, we finally got malevolence. And if you notice, it's 81 out of 85. I'm so close to six-starring it. So the reason all this awesomeness has happened is because of that event that they had where they were giving malevolent shard drops with, what was it, hard battles or something like that? Yeah, they were actually pretty generous with those shards. Like, I clearly was able to unlock the ship and get up to 81 out of 85. I mean, in all fairness, I didn't get to 81 from their their drops. I bought a pack from the last territory battles. I don't remember how many it gave me. It was either it was probably like 10 shards or something. So maybe I got 71. But that is not bad. So close to six star, which is pretty cool. And then I just got the long haul of 100 shards to seven star. But yeah. I've been trying to get this thing unlocked forever because the guild I'm in now sucks, basically. Like, the, my last guild, Chosen Ones, we were way better, but unfortunately, it fell apart. A lot of people, you know, the Relics and Galactic Legends really screwed up a lot. When people started getting, like, two Galactic Legends and there was other people in the guild that didn't have one yet, they didn't like that. Like, I was one of the ones at that time that didn't have one. Now, yeah, I have SLKR and I'm halfway there towards C, but during those days... I didn't have one. So you had some guys that had two. And like they just didn't want to be in a guild that was like weak. Relatively speaking. So that's when they all left. And then guild fell apart. And now I'm in this guild. Which seemed good at first. But now that I'm in it. It kind of sucks. Like territory battles. We don't do that well at it. Well territory battles for the, the geo territory battles. You know when I was in chosen ones. We used to get like 18. Anywhere between 18 and 20 stars on geo this this guild we get about 10 like and then i'm like what happens and then i look through and i see like a lot of the members are weak a lot of people are 3 million gp uh a little over 1 million i'm like geez seriously some are 4 million which isn't bad but i mean when you really break it down like i'm pushing 6 million so 4 million is kind of a rookie so it's like ugh. I don't know. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is when I get a second GL, when I get C, I'm probably going to leave this guild. Not to be like those people in the Chosen Ones that ditched, but 
I don't really want to be a part of a crap guild, and I, I want to be able to get Relic 8s and stuff, and I feel like if I stay here, it's never going to happen. <coughs> Anyways. What is this all about? That's not what I'm trying to look at. <laughs> what I was trying to look at was in here. I just wanted to show, like, what I have so far. So I have 7 out of 16 requirements met. <laughs> So basically I have 43 and three quarters percent <laughs> of the goals met. So let's see what we have though. Admiral Pri Pia. All right, I'm still working on him to get to seven stars. So that'll be a little bit. Krennic I do have, but I'm not, not, I'm not actively working on him. Sidious and Dooku. The problem I have with Sidious and Dooku is when I got Vader to Relic 7, it was actually a lot of work to get him there. I don't really have too much of the extra stuff laying around for Relic 7, so... I'm not looking forward to doing them too. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to suck. And then down here, zero progress. But it's not really as bad as it looks. Obviously, you saw I'm working on Veers and Stark. And they only need to be Relic 3, so that's pretty easy. I'm going to work on them once I'm done Royal Guard. Um, Grand Moff Tarkin, same situation. Yes, he's not even relic yet, but he only needs to be Relic 3, so that's relatively easy. And then you just have Thrawn and Anakin. So the good thing about both Thrawn and Anakin is I've already worked on them. They're both Relic 4. So it's two more Relics for Thrawn and three for Anakin. That's a lot easier than Dooku and Sidious who weren't even relic yet. And now they're sitting at, what, Relic 2? So, you know, we're getting there. Let's see where we're at next month. Hopefully there's a few more. There should be. Gears and, I mean, Veers and Stark at least. So that'll be 9 out of 16. And... Yeah, that might be it. <laughs> and then... I don't know... How do you do this? Profile. Ah, here you go. I ended up getting a new title. And a new uh, poster thing. But, uh, see if I can find it. The title had to do with, I think it was a thousand wins in Ship Arena, which was kind of surprising. I didn't realize I had that many already. I, I thought I was only at like, I don't know, 600 or something. But then I got that, got that, what are you going to call it? That uh, title and stuff. And I was like, huh, all right. Where is it? I didn't see it. I don't remember what it was called either. Well, anyways, that's what I ended up getting. And it comes with some kind of a ship, I think. Was it? Uh, oh, it's not in order. It wasn't. It obviously wasn't an Ewok. <laughs> what the heck? Hold on. I want to at least show something of it. Come on. It might be this one, possibly. Oh crap! Yeah. It was that one, Star Destroyer, earned by winning a thousand fleet arena, blah, blah, blah. Pretty sure there's a title too. What was my picture? Dang it. <laughs> I didn't want to change my picture to a dumb ship. Oh, man. What was I? <laughs> I guess we're dicking off to refine whatever my portrait was. Was it him? Does that look right? Not really. Was it Malik? Was it just him? Was it this? I think it was him. That seems about right. <laughs> anyway. Um, is there anything else to note on? The achievements and stuff. I think that's about it. So, yeah. That's um, November State of My Galaxy. Thanks for checking it out. Until next time, I said see ya. Thank you.